What it is, it's a parapet roof and they put brick on edge on. They've not done it right, they've not put a membrane in and it's uh, all the water's perished now so the water's going straight down into the cavern. You can see the big holes and that's just going straight into the cavity. And it's travelling. Yeah. Remember on our Laura's where I've put the DPC membrane in and some weep holes for the water to exit? But well, as far as I know, I don't think they've done it here. Yeah. And that's why the water's just going straight into, into, through the, down through the cavity. That's what I could see on there, though. Right, so the first job is to take all the old bricks off, just with a hammer and bolster. Cover the roof up, because we don't want to damage that. Then have our brew, because it's quite chilly, so we need a, a bit of a warm before we start. And once all the bricks are off, we'll have a further inspection and then go from there. Okay, KC's just taken the first couple of bricks off, what we see. No wonder it's going in. And all that water's in, inside. So it's getting straight in there. Yeah, it's sitting in. It's soaking through. Yeah, yeah what's happening is it's getting in there. Going underneath that lead, and that's what it's getting in through the inside, which is not good, is it? So we've got some lead to go over that. <laughs> Solid, damn it! Solid here. Well, they're behind it. Uh, I've got oh. I have to show her that the work's getting in behind there and leaking down there. How the hell does a snail end up inside a brick? How does it get there? Clever, aren't they, snails? Don't underestimate snails. Hey, that's unbelievable. Inside the brick. So we've got halfway up here now taking the old bed of mortar off, which is quite soft and damp. So what I've had to do to make things easier, I've just made some small incisions with the grinder all the way up on top of the brick, just scoring the top of the brick, then KC's just tapping them off with a bolster, hammer and bolster. And another thing is you're better off doing it this way because if you start trying to knock it off without making cuts in you're going to end up chiseling this face off as well because all these bricks are really damp so better just make it easy for yourself and make some cuts so we're all cleaned off and it's dried off a bit now so i'm going to bond that lead to that top of brick now all the way across there oh we've got some coping's up as well that's what we're using you can see how they're wedge shaped <laughs> well, the lead's on, mate.
very sandy street. Well, I agree actually, and I thought the same, but I can assure you there's plenty of cement in that, so it's a nice strong mix of this. Watch this see how spotted KC having a sly butter. Oh yeah? How is that butter? <laughs> Get that one quiet, didn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> done that, everything's good, all sealed in and that's the main thing. It can't leak in now, it's impossible, impossible to leak in. So, mission accomplished. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, cheers. When the morning's standing at your door